Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Once again, we gotta talk about the hard, not soft, bigotry of low expectations that everybody has for so-called people of color. Mainly the so-called black and brown slash Hispanic people, okay? You guys can't do nothing, okay? To the same level that the whites and the Asians can. So therefore, we must lower the standard for you guys. We must lower the standard for you, okay? Because you guys uh, just simply aren't capable, right? You're not capable. Solely based off your skin color of doing things and being financially responsible like everybody else, right? So Bank of America has decided that they're going to implement a no down payment mortgage program for minority communities. Um, yeah, so this is their attempt at trying to address uh, their long history, right, of uh, discriminated against minority buyers. And in order to address racism, um, they're going to implement more racism, right? Which is, um, again, the left's answer for fixing the race problem. Just be more racist, which is what I would define this program as in regards to how it's being marketed, okay? It is, in my opinion, systemic racism towards people who are not black or Hispanic, okay, because they're essentially offering um, mortgage financing options that they're not offering to other people based off people's race, which I think is inherently wrong, okay? If it was done the other way around, I would say it's wrong. Just like it's been done like this, I say it's wrong, okay? But hey, you know, it's hard to find people that are consistent on this race issue, right? Uh, as there are certain group of people in this country that don't want equal rights, they just want special rights, okay? And this is a prime example of uh, what the woke revolutionaries want. They want things like this. They want special rights and privileges uh, that nobody else gets, okay? All in the name of trying to rectify the wrongs of the past, okay? To punish the white man. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and roll a news clip um, that is going to be discussing this new program from Bank of America so you guys get a better understanding of what's going on here. Take a look. The housing market can be tough, and a new mortgage program aims to make the process easier while bolstering historically black and brown communities. Candace Sweat explains how it works. The decision to buy a home for the first time is a big one. Executing that decision can be daunting. It is challenging when you're living, you know, whether it's paycheck to paycheck or you have other bills lined up. Uh, on a monthly basis that you're left with just a little bit at the end of that month. Stephen Lewis is president of the Dallas Association of Real Estate Brokers. He's excited about a new program already making waves in the industry, one that could have a far-reaching impact on black and brown communities and kickstart someone's journey to home ownership. They just steal that dream for someone in that family. And that right now, this certainly could play a huge role in someone's outcome. Bank of America rolled out a program for its zero down payment, zero closing cost mortgage for first time home buyers in five markets across the country, including the Dallas area. These are neighborhoods that are that as as real estate professionals, we're 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 seeing opportunities to build or renovate homes or improve homes in this area. According to the National Association of Realtors, the home ownership rate surged in 2020, but the disparities persist. The home ownership rate for white Americans sits at about 72 percent, for Asian Americans, 61 percent, Hispanic Americans, 51 percent, and Black Americans, 43 percent. This program incentivizes first-time home ownership in largely black and brown communities. There are seven eligible markets in North Texas, including Dallas, Denton, and Rockwall. Lewis says programs like this can change the game and alter people's lives forever. You know, I was very excited to see the target of, you know, of, of the neighborhood aspect of it. These are for the, the families that is ready to build wealth today, ready to get the process started today. Candace Sweat, NBC5. Yeah, so what could possibly go wrong here, guys? Right? What could possibly go wrong when you're giving zero down payment, zero closing costs, we're not checking your credit score, <laughs> loans, mortgages, to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to get them, okay? Uh, what do you think might happen? I think we learned this lesson back in 2008 when all these banks <laughs> made these loans was lending out money to people to buy homes that actually shouldn't be buying homes. They call that a subprime mortgage, right? And they were taking, the banks were taking these loans, okay, the lenders, and selling them to, you know, the investment banks, the banks 
uh, would then make securities call collateralized mortgage obligations, and they would package together these subprime uh, mortgage loans into you know one security, and then they would basically have people invest into these securities. Okay, thinking that hey, we're gonna get our money back because people are going to continue to pay uh, their mortgages. Okay, they're gonna pay their mortgages. However, <laughs> the problem here is is that when you lend to people who should be having homes who aren't really financially responsible. Okay, you're making it easier for them to get homes when they shouldn't through not having down payments. What happens is, is that when they stop paying the money, right, they stop paying their mortgage, um, the whole system kind of falls apart. Okay, and that's what happened in, in, in 2008, right, as um, these investors uh, weren't getting their money, okay, because people weren't paying their mortgage, which means that people started basically selling their houses. And because people were selling their houses and not paying their mortgages, uh, bank stop lending, right? Which caused demand for housing to go down even more and supply to continue to go up as people, again, were selling their homes and they weren't really buying anymore, okay? Because uh, lenders didn't want to take on that risk, okay? They were losing money off this stuff, right? Which, again, perpetuated uh, the selling. And as more people sold, uh, housing prices went down and then people were like, whoa, why am I paying this mortgage uh, for a house that was worth three hundred some thousand dollars is now worth ninety thousand dollars. It doesn't make sense for me to pay this type of mortgage. I'm gonna sell, okay, or I'm gonna default. I'm just not gonna pay, and that's what happened. It further perpetuated a cycle that caused the whole financial system to go bust. Okay, that that is a quick explanation of the uh, financial crisis of two thousand eight. Without getting into too much detail, that <laughs> probably is too much for you know, a, a mainly political channel. But <clears throat> with that being said, the reason why I bought that up and I went through that is because Bank of America doing programs like this really does uh, kind of make you have a funny feeling, right? If you understand how giving out some of these risky loans um, could potentially backfire, right? So, so let's read about this. Bank of America started a trial program aimed at helping first-time home buyers in black and Hispanic neighborhoods by offering mortgages that don't require down payments Closing costs or minimum credit scores, all considered long time obstacles to narrowing the gap between white and minority ownership. Yeah. So if Bank of America goes bust, <laughs> I don't want them to come to the government asking for their handout saying, can we get a bailout? The government better say no. And any Republican <laughs> that votes to get them a bailout, they should be immediately removed from office. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If y'all, if you want to do this, I, I'm not sure if it's necessarily legal, but if you want to do it, don't expect a bailout when you go bust. I'm just saying. Consumers using the program will be evaluated for a home loan, not by credit scores, but rather factors such as their history of making rent, utility, phone and auto insurance payments on time. B of A said in a statement Tuesday, the program will be tried out in certain predominantly black and Hispanic areas of Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, Miami and Charlotte, North Carolina. B O F A wouldn't disclose the plan size of the program, which may be expanded later to other cities. Okay, so here's my issue with this. If the problem is what you're saying is that, well, credit scores are racist, right? That's basically what they're saying here. If credit scores are racist and you think that it is better to evaluate people off other things like making rent, utility, phone, auto insurance, because let's be real, when it comes to the credit score system, you don't get rewarded really for good behavior. What really happens is that you get dinged for bad behavior, right? So if you make your rent, that doesn't necessarily help your credit score. But if you miss your rent, okay, and it gets reported to the credit agency, then you get hurt, right? So again, I think that the credit score system is messed up. And I think it is worth, um, you know, evaluating whether or not somebody should get a loan, okay, or whether somebody's worthy of a loan based off other factors besides credit. However, that's something that can be expanded to everybody. You don't need the race aspect. You don't need the race, right? Why do you need race? Again, because if it's inherently racist and it discriminates against black people, credit ratings do, that, that's basically what Bank of America is arguing here, then just say, look, we're going to help people get homes based off other stuff of size credit. It's really that simple. You don't need to throw race in there at all, right? And if black people benefit, they benefit. But again, this is wokeness on steroids here. This is wokeness on steroids. This is what it is. It's all about, hey, look at me. Look at me. I'm rectifying the past. I'm giving out my reparations, right? Black people, come bank with us, right? Come give us your money. 
right? Again, <laughs> absolutely. Wow. Uh, the Charlotte-based bank is going beyond credit scores so people can use other mechanisms to define their credit worthiness, buy a home, and build their wealth. A.J. Barkley, head of neighborhood and community lending at B of A, said in an interview, while U.S. home ownership saw its biggest annual increase ever during the pandemic, it, re it remained lower than a decade earlier for uh, African Americans and black and Hispanic buyers were more likely to be rejected for mortgages than their white and Asian counterparts, according to the National Association of Realtors. Well, why is that? It's not because of their race, okay? Because if because of their race, you know how you fix that? You just say, all right, we're going to stop being racist, <laughs> right? If that's what it is, if it's because of their race, then just stop discriminating. You don't have to do all this stuff. But it's not because of their race. It's because of the habits that these people tend to have, okay? That they aren't very responsible financially they don't have good credit scores they don't have a good history of making rent and you know paying off their credit cards and doing the things they need to do they don't have a, a history of that stuff that's why they're getting denied and it just so happens that white and asians eh, they do right at a much higher rate that's not something that again is inherent to people's race that's just how that's just how the behavior patterns are working out here so again in order to fix those behavior patterns what you should do is that you should encourage people to, I don't know, be more financially responsible, have more financial literacy. That's the solution. Education is the solution. The solution is not to lower the standards. But hey, if Bank of America wants to put themselves at risk for wokeness, I'll let them do it. Have at it. Just don't come to the government looking for a bailout if it don't work out. Right. I'm just saying. Approval rates for homeowners looking to lower their payments have also varied by race, with BLA approving 66% of black refinancing applicants and 78% of white ones in 2020, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The Justice Department has hammered lenders for practices that discriminate against minority borrowers, and in the wake of George Floyd's uh, murder in 2020, banks and other corporations vowed to do more to fight racial inequities. B of A's new offering is on top of a $15 billion program that offers down payment and closing cost assistance to lower income consumers and another program that has a goal of providing $15 billion more in mortgages to low to moderate income buyers through May 2027. Okay, so look, I don't have a problem with that. I have no issues if you say, look, we want this program for people that have low income. I ain't got no issues with that. I have no issues with that whatsoever. I have an issue when you start to discriminate based off race. That's when I have an issue. Because again, according to the Justice Department, right, this is supposed to be wrong, right? Discriminating against people based off race is supposed to be wrong. So I wonder, are, are they going to go out the Bank of America for doing this or are they just going to let it slide? I guarantee you the politicized Department of Justice is going to let it slide. They're going to have nothing to say about it because this is anti-racism, right? This is anti-racism, which by definition is racism, but according to the left, you know, it's just, you know, it's anti-racist. <laughs> wow. While no down payment mortgages uh, potentially make it easier for lower income borrowers to buy homes, they're not without risk. If the housing market were to slump, homeowners without a significant amount of equity may have little incentive to keep paying their mortgages, hurting their credit scores, and sticking lenders with foreclosed homes. Under the BLA program, the lender is giving home buyers down payment grants of 10000 to 15000 so they have immediate equity in their homes. Yeah, so they're giving down payment grants. Okay, um, which, hey, I mean, look, it's a sweet deal for <laughs> black and Hispanic people. Not going to lie to you. It's a sweet deal. Okay, um, as long as the interest rates are not adjustable rates. Okay, uh, or if, you know, the interest rates that uh, they're giving right now, the um, the flat rates, uh, because interest rates are going up, as long as the flat rates aren't, <laughs> you know, exorbitantly high. But you can imagine that they're probably going to have higher interest rates on these loans than the regular loans they give out. I'm just saying, people got to read between the fine lines here and understand, okay, where are they actually getting their money back? Because banks don't do this stuff without actually making some money off of it, okay? And I guarantee you they're going to be making money off of it in some way, whether it be, again, adjustable rate mortgages, which, you know, hey, that's a part of why the financial crisis in 2008 happened as well too, or in, you know, having higher rates on these loans, even if it's a flat rate, than some of the regular loans they give out, right? They're going to make some money off the back end. But 
Again, my issue here, guys, is the hard bigotry of low expectations, right? We got to lower the standards for black and Hispanic people compared to whites and Asians because inherently they're just not as good, right? They're not capable of saving money for down payment. They're not capable of having a decent credit score. They're not capable of the basic things that whites and Asians are capable of. So therefore, we must treat them differently, which in my opinion is inherently racist. You're saying that black people are inferior. We simply can't keep up. And to me, it's offensive. Not only when this is done in corporate America, like right now, when it's done in academia as well too. When we see programs like Affirmative Action lowering the standards for certain groups of people because, hey, we don't think you guys are smart enough. You're not smart enough. It should be This type of stuff should be offensive to so-called people of color. If you want to level the playing field, right, if credit ratings are truly racist and stuff like that, then just, hey, we're going to stop doing it based off credit and we're going to apply that to everybody, right? We'll do it based off the other factors. It's really that simple. But again, this is more about virtue signaling uh, than anything else. And I guarantee you the Bank of America is probably screwing these people over on the back end, right? I guarantee you there's no doubt in my mind, right? <laughs> they're not a big bank for no reason. Of course they're screwing people over. That's what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.